Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is add actor local offset. Let's go ahead and look at this example here. It's pretty simple. I have a cube that's right here, and it's roughly in the middle of the scene. It's up just about 150 units. Now, when you add an actor local offset, you're basically saying, hey, add this much to one of these three directions, positive or negative, to the existing value. So if I wanted to make it go up, I could say add 100 to the Z, and you're going to see it's going to go up 100 in the Z. If I wanted to go down, I could say, well, let's go 100 negative. It's going to go down. Now, it's not going to go negative 100 on the Z in the world or in the actor. It's just going to subtract or add the value you tell it. So let's look at this. The add actor local offset node. Let's pull it up. And you're going to find, well, it's not really going to look. Well, why not? It is context sensitive. And hopefully by the name, you could guess it needs an actor for its target. By default, it's going to require, again, an actor for the target. It'll have a delta location. This is a vector with basically what you're adding or subtracting in the X, Y, and Z. It has sweep and teleport options. I'll cover these at the end of the video. And then if you are sweeping, it'll have a hit result for the output. So as this is a vector, I can always right click and split. And that's what I'm using for my example here. So for my example, all I'm doing is taking the value of the item, this box in the scene once I spawn it, taking the value from my values here, X, Y, and Z, and then piping them into my add actor local offset. And as you saw, when I said 100 on the Z, it is taking the current value and adding 100. And I can show you that. Let's play this in the editor. Transform box. I location is 0, 0, 150. Let's add 100 to the Z. And now it's 0, 0, and 250. Now, this is important. This is a local offset to an actor. What do I mean by that? Let's run play, and let's go ahead and choose our transform box. Let me eject and choose the box. And you'll notice right now I'm using the world coordinate system. Z is up, Y is in this direction, X is in this direction. If I was to take and let's say we rotate this item 45 degrees on the Y, You'll notice now for this box, the Z is in this direction, the X is in this direction, and the Y is in that direction. In world coordinates, it's still normal. Z is up, X is going to be that way, and Y is that way. But the actor's local coordinate system has now changed because our rotation has changed. And now I'll go ahead and do 100 on the Z. And you'll notice it now moves 100 in the local coordinate system, or the blue arrow direction. I could do another 100, and we'll see it continue moving. I could do something like negative 300, and we'll go backwards on the Z. So that is something to keep in mind. This is a local offset, so we'll add it locally. So if you have something rotated and such, it's going to affect it based on the orientation of the actor. Now let's look at our other nodes. These are pretty simple. Sweep basically means when you add this offset, check to see if we're going to trigger anything or hit anything. Let me show you as such. Actually, let's show you it not working. I have an item here. As I fall off again, I gotta add walls to this thing. It's here on my Y. It's at zero Y. Over here is around 500 Y. Let's go and add 500, and you'll see it basically jump through this wall. We turn on sweep. We'll hit play. We'll go and do the same thing. 500 on the Y and we'll see a different result. When it attempted to go from the start to the end by adding 500, it ended up hitting this wall. These walls are, this wall and this side were both set to block, therefore there was a collision and it stopped it. By using sweep, it's gonna trigger anything in its path, such as a collider, or it's going to get stopped if something can block it using the physics collision. So if you want something to be physically there in the world when you move it, have sweeping turned on. Teleport. It's pretty simple. You have physics. Physics such as maybe dangling parts off of a octopus like legs, or you have like a character who has arms and things like that. Let's say you want to literally teleport him. 
If you were to move him from one location to another, like we did earlier, and it moved a great distance, physics is still going to calculate, and it may start flailing everywhere. It's going to all of a sudden move 500 units in one frame. When you have teleport checked, it's basically going to not allow physics to have a, to occur during the move, or in this case, the local offset. So it's going to stop physics, do your local offset, and then start physics back up. And as far as physics nodes, it's not even going to have any idea anything happened. So use teleport if you want to teleport something. Let's hook up my sweep hit results. Turn on sweep. We're going to go ahead and play this. And we'll add just a little bit of an offset. In the top left, you see false. I am printing out a hit result from my hit result. I'm just basically, it, did we get a blocking hit, basically? And no, we didn't, because basically we were able to successfully move without anything stopping. See, I can go left, I can go right, no issues. Now let's say we added 800, and we attempted to get through the wall. Well, you'll see true here. I could try it again, still true. We are having a blocking hit, because we have a hit result here that is showing us we have a proper block. This is a standard hit result. You have your things such as blocking, overlapping, what you hit, things like that. You can see an alternate video to understand what the hit results are. But this hit result is basically going to pop out if we have sweeping turned on. That is pretty much going to wrap up our add actor local offset node. It works exactly like it says. We target an actor. We give it an offset. The offset is a vector, or we can split it into the floats. It's going the, by offset. It means basically if you had 100, 100, 100 on the x, y, and z that you're adding, it's going to take the current position, give it a plus 100 on the x, y, and z, and that will be the new result. Sweeping and teleporting is if you need to have something hit, or if you need to teleport without any physics happening, and your hit result is basically if you hit something.